If you own a Universal Audio Apollo interface, then you have access to Console, which is a highly functional digital mixer for routing your inputs and headphone monitoring. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your input monitoring the easy way and the better way. Hi, my name is Ed from edthorn.com, here to help you make the most out of your home studio, and I hope this video finds you well. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your monitoring in console with Logic, but this process applies to the other DAWs as well. I'll explain how monitoring works in Luna in a separate video. All right, so here we are in console. Before we get into a basic setup, we need to establish whether we are monitoring a mix or a cue mix. Assuming the master bus output in your door is set to channels one and two, your Apollo interface will feed this through your monitor outputs by default. Apollo will also send this to your headphones if you have mix selected in the Q outputs menu. You will also be able to monitor your inputs if you have the channel open, the required gain to hear the signal and the channel fader up. Balancing your door output and input signal like this is the most basic way of recording and monitoring in console, but let's explore a better option. For maximum monitoring flexibility, we want to set up a Q mix. A Q-Mix is Universal Audio's name for a monitor send, much like an AUX or a bus send in a live music scenario. You'll notice there are AUX sends as well, and these are the traditional auxiliary processing send channels. To set up a Q-Mix, we need to go into Settings, I.O. Matrix, and set up two virtual channels in the Outputs column. You'll see these new channels appear in Console, and we want these to be linked. By clicking on the left channel, we can link these together as a stereo pair, and let's rename the channel to something like door output. Then in our door, we need to assign our main left and right outputs to the new virtual instruments channel. Then we need to go back into console and assign our headphone mixers. So we go to Q outputs and swap the source from mix to Q1, 2 or a maximum of 4 if you have two or more Apollo devices. And then we assign where Q mix is heading to whichever headphone output we need. All of your connected Apollo devices will be displayed in Q outputs. If you just have one device such as a solo, you'll see a single headphone output option. The twin gives you the additional option for line outs 3 and 4, should you wish to send your mix to a headphone amp or a set of speakers in another room, for example. From here, we simply make sure we're plugged into the corresponding headphone output to balance and start mixing our monitor levels by adjusting the send levels on the channels we want to hear. If we want to monitor with some effects like reverb or delay, we assign these into our aux inserts. To send reverb to a vocal on input 1, for example, we send the desired amount to aux 1 in the send section of input 1. Then to hear this in our monitor Q mix, we go to the aux 1 channel sends and raise the fader going to Q1, or whichever your performer is on. If one performer wants reverb and a vocal and another one wants delay, simply set up aux 2 with delay and then send that input to the delay aux. Then on the AUX strip, the reverb to the one performer and the delay to the other. You can also send your DAWs click track to a virtual instrument for the same level of control for each musician. Go back into settings, set up two virtual channels. And stereo link those again. Label them click. Go back into your door, go to your mixer, Find your click channel and then assign the output of that to your virtual channels three and four. Go back into console and you'll see the click channel going there and your door output next to it. And to assign the click to your Q mixers, click on the sends box on your click channel and assign as needed. If you have any questions regarding today's video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to as many comments as I can. To find out more about Unison preamps, near zero latency monitoring, or the new Apollo Solo, click the links in the description below or in the pinned comment below. For more UAD-based tutorials and a video coming on DSP management, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you're notified when those videos come out. In the meantime, thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next one.